Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in here. I told y'all, man. I told y'all we was doing this thing, man. We was doing this thing tonight. I missed last night, but we is here. We is here. Let me put the word out on social media, man, just in case people don't know what we got going on right now. You feel me? I'm about to hold on. I'm posting right now, y'all. Y'all got to excuse your boy. I just walked in the door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Talking about y'all. Y'all doing all right? I see the people piling in here. Only got about 30 some people. I need a couple of hundred before we get this party started, though. That's just how I roll. That's just how I roll. So y'all just give me a minute. Y'all just give me a minute. It's go time. Just letting the folks of the world know it is go time. All right. That's what it is. Well, let me go on up here. We got Wilfred up in here. He made it. He the first one up in here. Big supporter. Long time subscriber. Andrew, how you doing, sweetheart? I see you up in here. Pink girl. Pink girl R. What's going on with you? Steven. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> I was about to say the wrong word. What, who is this? Sharon? Is that how you say the name? How you doing? What's going on with you? Rebecca, channel members up in here. I see you. I see you up in here, Mary. Another channel member, Beth. Peyton, what's going on with you? Ryan, what up, Montrell? What's good with you? We in here, man. There's a bunch of folks in here. Trisha is up in here. Mike's up in here. You got some channel members, man. Mary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This can only mean one thing. What up, AOK okay, Mafia? It's your boy, Arden Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So, we got a video here today sent in by a viewer. It's a long one, too. About 22 minutes long from a channel that I am unfamiliar with. But I will have their channel linked down in the description box below so you can check them out for yourselves. They got a video here. This is five scary ghost videos to watch in the dark. Y'all know what that means. Turn off them lights. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks if you have it already. I don't know how deep we're going to get tonight because this is not our usual schedule for a live stream. But hey, we're going to make it work anyway. We're just going to make it work in T way. I actually want to pull up the channel to see if I can get an accurate count. We're also streaming on Twitch as well. All right, it's showing me something different here. It's showing we got about 143 people in here, which is cool, which is cool. Not bad, not bad. But we're about to get this party started. I'm done waiting. Yo, again, this first video is titled Five Scary Ghost Videos to Watch in the Dark. Turn them lights off. We're about to get this party started. Y'all boys girls ready? I'm ready. Scare me! Number five. Next up, we have New Reality Paranormal together with Nick exploring a haunted house in Southern California. It is said that there's a supposedly evil ghost called Frank who is watching you from the shadows. But things are about to get way more intense as Nick uses a Kinect camera and captures something reaching for Cody. Hello Frank, my name is Eric, I'm new here. I would like to get to know you a little bit more. There is a figure right here, right? The K2 is going off, look at the K2, look at the K2. Well, this is be right now. Oh, got a body next to him. Is it on my right? It's like touching. Me. Yeah, it's, is it on my right hand side? It is, and it's got a weird shape to it. I can feel it. Let me see if I can zoom in. He said he can feel it. Are you screen recording, Eric? Yeah. Yo, where do you oh, feel yeah, it though? Do what, okay. Where do you feel it? It looks like a spider. Yo, it looks like it's touching his wiener. Weird, bro. Yeah, it's like kind of like bending. Trying Are you feeling anything at all, Clay? My, on my right side, yeah. Okay, well, it's off to your left. Oh no, that's true. It's right it was on your right. It was oh, your... dude, it's on my back. It's in the middle of my back, bro. Oh my god, it's like crunching. <clears throat> Who? That's mad weird because when it disappeared off the screen, the moment it disappeared off the screen, he said, "Yo, I can feel it on my back now." Yo, that's crazy. Who are you? Oh, I seriously saw like a blue light or a red light, maybe. Dude, a white anomaly just shot across with this blue, white, or a red light, maybe. Eric continues investigating the like building a bug. using the Kinect camera. He proceeds into a doorway where he asks Frank to make his presence known. It's very hiding. 
Don't hide. I'm friendly. I'm here to speak to you. Einstein would help. Are you passing the truth? Can you brush through here or come towards me? Frank, make your presence known. I kid you not, a threat like somebody telling in front of me right now. Really? Like, I have devices that will allow your voice to be heard. If you want me to perhaps bring the ghost box. Did you hear hear that echo? Ghost box. Did you hear hear that echo? So Frank, I know you touched me earlier, or whoever that was. Just tap Eric. Oh my god, dude. So Frank, I know you touched me earlier, or whoever that was. Just tap there. Oh my god, dude. Dude, I was standing right here, bro. It's like something hit the wall. Yeah, what was that down below? Whoa. Can you give me a sign that you were here? Knock off this device from my hand? Or take it? Notice the ghost box in the thing. All those strange events have been really chilling, but static cam number one captured something fairly bizarre. Pay attention to the left side of the recording. Jesus, woman's voice. He said, "Pay attention to the left side." That's why. That's why I moved. I just saw something move. It's very faint in the bottom left hand right, side. Right. This place is haunted. Something cold is touching. Y'all see that? Right something moving over there. You got me. Oh, holy voice. I see through a black shadow can be seen moving around in the bottom left, but it is definitely not one of them since they walked into the other direction. So what is your opinion on this house? Is it really haunted by an evil entity? Or is it just all a fake? Number four. In this video, we have the ghost hunter team Open Paranormal investigating a haunted clothing store called Endless Indulgence, which is located in Auckland, Utah. Yo, the the is, is this man talking through a freaking headphones of an iPhone? You know them iPhone headphones people be talking like this? That's what it sounds like he's using. It's not that loud. Interesting. Yeah, we got over 400 people in the stream. Welcome, everybody. For the years, many TV shows have attempted to investigate the premises, but the old carry has always denied to entry up till now. This particular building was first set out as a small cigar shop before being turned into a hotel. It has been a hotel for quite a while before being turned into the vintage clothing shop it is now. The only carry has been there six years. Has experienced paranormal activity from what she thinks three or more entities. The most prevalent I think that people pick up on is uh, James. And uh, it's my understanding he travels the tunnels underneath the streets between the shops. Um, I've also been told that we have um, a elderly woman here that would assist the madam in taking care of her, um, almost like a maid that is in the basement here, as well as this used to be a hotel and brothel, and so it's my knowledge that we do have uh, mischievous young women. To get the best chance. Mischievous young women, huh? <laughs> To capture those ghosts, the group set up five cameras all around the shop to then proceed with starting a ghost box session while sat down in the basement. So I understand there's a lady dressed in all black down here. Are you with us? Can you tell us your name? Something seems somewhat familiar about this. 
King Co. Shout out to you, brother. Thank you for the five dollars. Don't know. Yes, we are in here. Twisted Go with the big one hundred dollar. Don't know the biggest. Don't know of the night so far. Shout out to you. Thank you very much, y'all. I gotta uh, make an announcement shortly, but we're gonna keep playing this. Yo, what's up? We just wanna hear what you have to say. Isn't something new back here? Yeah, we have seen this before. One of the cameras captured a bag moving on its own, however, Ogden don't realize this until they were editing the footage later on. Next, they decided to do one more ghost box session and managed to capture a very clear EVP of an entity named Chris. We have seen this. Can you tell us your name? <laughs> Going back up on the main floor, the camera recording carry captures more activity. Also, the shop CCTV caught this, so we have different angles. Do you think this was just simply the gravity or some ghosts throwing the shop's walkways? Things are now starting to get more intense as one of the cameras is thrown to the ground by something, which can be heard by multiple cameras. But what's even stranger is that the camera's battery has completely died when it was still at 50% charge. He only built that building and the space next to it. Yeah, off the tripod. Yeah. Do we not tape it back on there? It was taped on there. We have it locked in place. So there is a high EMF down here. Not super high, but most places have a zero and we're sitting around a seven right here. I do I do remember this ever so slightly this is not video footage that comes up very often um, with a lot of these channels um, this is only the second time that I'm seeing this so I don't quite remember it that well I just remember images I don't remember what happened but um, before we get back into it real quick now that we got almost 800 people in here let me make an announcement y'all if you're spamming in the chat you get three strikes you get a three strike warning then you're out meaning you won't be able to comment on any live stream or any other video period we're not going to tolerate the mess no spamming no profanity no promoting of self no self promotion whatsoever and if you are deliberately causing trouble for my moderators you will be removed or blocked from being able to comment on the channel I don't care about your feelings. We're not here for that. We're here to have a good time. Take that mess elsewhere. End of story. Understand? I'm glad. Let's get back to it. As a final test, Tony sits down in the basement's creepiest room and immediately after sitting down, he tells us how uncomfortable and off he feels, as if someone is watching him right now. I'm telling you guys, there's something in this middle room. It is creepy over here. I hate this room already. What's behind you? Can you see? Yeah, it's like a Halloween thing. Oh, good. Like a life size thing? Yeah, there's like a hand hanging out of it. Oh my god. Got him. Oh my god, did I bump it? No, that thing moved by itself. Behind he didn't even look back. He was just like, "Oh, let me get up." Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a. What? What was that? Behind me, can you see? Yeah, it's like a Halloween thing. Oh, good. Like a life-size thing. Yeah, there's like a hand hanging out of it. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him.
Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So, is this vintage truck really haunted? Maybe even by a poltergeist? Or was it all a coincidence? Let me know your opinion down below in the comments. Number 3 The Old Washu Club is a three-story building which is located in Virginia City, Nevada. It was originally built in 1870 and was known as a luxury bar called the Millionaire's Club. Therefore, the building was known to be a meeting place for rich men from Virginia City. The building included a huge luxurious lounge, but more important, a large freezer called the Crypt. Throughout the 18 and 1900s, many strange things have happened there, including a deadly explosion in 1873, some of the employees going missing, people taking their own lives, and multiple bodies being stored and found in the crypt. So as you can see, this place checks all the requirements to be a haunted place. Man, I wish, I mean, I got another microphone. I could send it to this dude because uh, I wish his, his audio was a bit louder. Y'all, we got almost a thousand people in here. Welcome, everybody. Ryan Russell, shout out to you. Shout out to your cousin, PJ. Thank you guys for watching. Heidi, what's going on with you? Glad to see you smiling. Uh, glad to see your smiling face. Really, really needed your live stream today. I'm glad that I could do it today. Wish I could have did it yesterday. Natalie, uh, chill while work. Great to be here watching your reaction. Big heart, keep it up. Thank you so much. Yeah, we hanging out. We chilling tonight, baby. Face. The YouTuber, exploring with Eric, went to investigate the building with a couple of his friends. And as soon as they entered the building, strange stuff started happening. Did you just say this place is very haunted? Oh, that's just like... Did you hear that? The moan? Like, mm. I heard a, a moan. Yeah. Did you just say this place is very haunted? Oh, that's just like... Did you hear that? The moan? Like, mm. I heard a, a moan. Yeah. Last time that we were here... Something got thrown into this room, either from here in there or in here at us. In here at us. In here at us. At us. Did you? Was that you? I didn't hear. Did you hear that? No. I heard something. Like I heard like a bone. No, no, I heard a bone. Can you answer this? Or I just thought about something. I've never seen one of these videos where somebody asks. Hey, did you hear something? And, no, and anyone says no. <laughs> I've never seen anybody say no, I didn't hear something. It's like automatically if you say, did you hear something? Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, I heard it. Did you hear it? I heard something. <laughs> ah, I think I'm going to do that when I go on my ghost hunt. I'm just going to be messing with people and be like, yo, did you hear something? <laughs> to see what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna freak him out. Can you, can you finish this? I heard one knock. Click, click, you're supposed to knock twice. Was that you that? Were you the one who grabbed my hand the last time I was here? Did you hear me? Yes. I know, man. I'm sorry, Mary. Look, my freaking audio is up at 68, 70, and this is not, it's not very loud over here. I heard. Was that you that, were you the one who grabbed my hand the last time I was here? Did you hear yes. me? Yes. I heard. After hearing those strange unexplained sounds and voices, they decide to start an EVP session and what they captured is truly chilling. How many spirits are in this building with us? Yeah. Do you want us to be quiet so we can hear you for that? Yeah. Do you want us to be 
I'm not hearing nothing that they're saying. To really capture those entities. And I, I wasn't saying that I couldn't hear it to say that um, the audio wasn't loud enough. The only thing the audio is not loud is on is, is the narrator. I, is, I can hear what he's saying, but I wish his voice was uh, matching with the audio of the videos that we're watching. Uh, but other than that, no, the I didn't hear the stuff that they were talking about, most of it. I, I heard that last um, noise, but that was it. He's contacting them. Or was it all set up? You decide. Disembodied voice. That was the only thing I heard. Number two. What up, Erica? We got Texas in the house. For this video, we have to explore Urbex Hill, who has already captured some interesting evidence I've already featured in one of my previous videos. Today's investigation starts at the Richmond Brothers factory. Shout out Dream to Urbex drums, Hill. Urbex suddenly heard a loud knock, and as he turned around, he saw a rock being moved on its own. Later on, something similar. Do we see this? Or happen. Oh yeah. Excuse me. We did see this. We done seen just about all of Urbex Hill stuff. At least all the juicy stuff. We're gonna skip to the next one. Link to this video will be down in the description box if y'all want to check that one out for yourself. Don't worry, you guys. This is the first video. We got about almost thirteen hundred people. We gonna have another video after this. Franco TV, who decided to take a close look at Area Fifty. Shout out to Franco TV. Fifty one. Since there are many conspiracy theories and other mysteries being talked about this place, Franco decided to look first for some places from where he has a good view over the area. Then, as it got dark, he decided to drive towards the entrance where someone was already waiting for him. This man got a death wish, boy. You don't go out there. They'll be ready to shoot. Pow, pow! Um, I don't think I could go any further, actually. Better not. They might I got a it. rear truck that's watching me. They might and pull I it. have a sign here that says no parking or no trespassing. They might pull the trigger on you. Yep. I'm turning around. How weird is that? It looks like that truck. Oh, what the hell is that in the mountains? I just turned around and I'm already seeing something lighting up in the mountains that wasn't there before. I'm watching my six outside. I just don't want to be followed. I know that's right. I'd be scared if I was this man right now. And I got this weird light in the sky up here. That light was not there. Yeah, what's up with that light though, for real? Oh. I think I'm being followed. Uh-oh. I got some sort of light back there. Uh-oh. I do not feel comfortable doing this at night. Uh-uh. I don't feel comfortable for you. I feel, I got so much anxiety watch, watching you, bro. <laughs> Yo, Tim, shout out to you. Thank you, brother. I did have a pretty decent weekend. What the hell did I do wrong? Shit! Oh, if you look at my rear view, you could actually see Yo, what the... there is a truck following behind me now. I didn't even do anything but drive in, and now I'm driving out. Exactly. Now, there is something that's called drones, so they could be military drones in the sky. Oh, it's blinking. It's like it's getting brighter. Boy, I'd be terrified if I was this fool. What the hell is that? It's like... Levitating over the ground. There was a security truck waiting for him at the entrance, so he decided to turn around, but it was too late. The truck started following him, and suddenly a strange light appeared in the mountains that had not been there before. After he saw that he is being chased, Frank drove to one of the places he found before, from where he can observe everything in peace. 
As he got out of the car, strange lights appeared in the sky, but that was just the beginning. Yo, that's... Look, 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 right over there. Right there. You see it? Yo, that's crazy. Look, look, look. Oh, it's gone. Yo, what if that's a UFO? <laughs> he is in Area 51, after all. What if that's a freaking UFO? A U to the F to the O. Oh, oh, look, look, look. What the freak? What the hell is that? What the freak? This man got a UFO in the sky above him. What the freak? Oh my god. It's like a light show. It's like a light show. What? What the freak? It's a bunch of these things in the sky. Y'all, somebody sent me something today. I think, I can't remember what the date is. Either the 24th of this month or next month. There's about to be some more release footage. Things are about to get real crazy in regards to what they're about to show us. I'm telling you, they're preparing us. They are, pre what, what, my, Monique, I have had a feeling you was about to show up and do your thing. Thank you, sweetheart, for another fat, juicy donation. She don't say nothing. She just drop off money. I'm telling you, that woman's rich. She got more money than I do. I'll tell you that right now. But y'all, seriously, they're about to show us something. And they're trying to make sure everyone is prepared. This ain't poor quality camera. This is a, a night vision camera. It's just how it looks. I am right next to Area 51. I can't even tell if that's normal. That ain't normal, buddy. I Unless they're drones. And why would the drones just be interesting? You know, if they do have drones in the sky, kind of watching the area, Area 51, because maybe Area 51 gets a lot of alien activity still. But they got drones in the sky constantly monitoring what may be in the area. That could be a possibility. I think that's a light moving right here. That one right there is moving. Look, look, look. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited right now. See, that's the thing, though. Like, I feel like if they were drones, then he would be able to spot that because drones are kind of loud. A good drone is loud it makes a lot of noise in the air in the sky and if there's multiple drones up there he should be able to hear them freaking drones be sounding like freaking lawnmowers man look it just disappeared it just disappeared maybe it just turned off the light this is amazing it is amazing they're happening all around me right now. You might want to disappear. disappear. Look, look, look right over there. See it? That's one right there. Look, look, look how it disappears. Watch. Oh, he's moving quick. Yes, he is. Man, this is the one time I wish I was with Urbex Hill. Franco TV. I'm sorry. My brain is scattered. Yeah, He's Franco TV. Quick. You know it would be amazing? If one of these things just dropped down and just posted up right in front of him. And it just disappeared. Ooh, that would have been crazy. Oh, I got something over here. Right up there. Look, 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 look at that. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like that before. Yo, this is amazing. Whatever it is. Oh, whoa, that is so bright. <gasps> Look, there's another one over there. <gasps> what? What the hell am I looking at? Exactly, what are you looking at, bro? Oh my god. Somebody said in the comments that a military drone might be a lot quieter. It's a possibility. There we go. Look at that. <gasps> what the hell? Yo, that just broke apart from the other one. I got a truck coming. And I'm on the side of the road. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yo, what? How come this is not shown so more strong, across the internet? Objects moving without making any noise, and so on. So where are those lights? Maybe something from outer space? And what is it with those moving objects? Let me know your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far. Very fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Yeah, we got over 1,600 people in the live stream right now. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We got two more videos tonight, then we'll be out of here. Y'all, this next video is scary videos that have chilled us. Frosty? What? That have chilled us frosty. Okay, um, I guess that's the title that they wanted to go with. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just check it out. Um, Ramona, shout out to you. Thank you. She just became a channel member, and she upgraded just like that. Michelle, what you talking about? Love the Nope Not Me shirt. Uh, and also red one, white jays. Oh, nice. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to you. I'm glad you like it. Y'all, we... We're about to check out this next video. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Hello guys. Tonight we want to take a look at some more mysterious and possible inexplicable recordings again. And now without further ado, let's buckle up and stay frosty. Stay frosty. King Frost Mayor Big Baby. Scare me. This video submission stems from Treya Autumn Wolf. And she told me about a channel called Hunting the Dead. Apparently the owner of the channel is documenting a haunting that is taking place in his own home. And some unseen force is messing with his whole family. The following are captures that his CCTV cameras could record, which are placed in the whole house. They're all in particular, there's a oh, we've seen this before. lot of mist activity that can be captured in the living room. Oftentimes, when only his kids are around, a little bit eerie, to be honest. Only when the kids are around? Interesting. Very interesting. Y'all, real quick, if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all check out my second channel and the gaming channel. I posted two videos um, today on both of those channels. So make sure y'all check. Y'all, look, I, I got content all over the place. If you can't get enough of me here, go check out the second channel and gaming channel. And they will be linked on the main channel if you go there. I mean, isn't that significant? What makes them manifest a little right in front of that camera? Like, that's the type of stuff I like to see. Mist like that go across the camera. Instead of these little dots of orbs and stuff. Give me some mist like that, but... What could have created that mist if this was staged? Um, they could have blew some vape smoke or some smoke in general. Probably vape. You know, there's kids around. I wonder. All right, I see people on the website copying merchandise. I will be shouting you guys out at the end of the live stream, showing the support. Thank you all so much, and I will be autographing all of it for you guys. Products going out tomorrow. And there's also a lot of orb-like activity in his bedroom. And I don't think this is dust. What's your opinion? It's fascinating to me. It seems like they sleep at the foot of the bed. And apparently they also like to pull the blanket in the middle of the night. How mean. Huh? Are they sleeping on the other end of the bed now? Oh, heck no. Nah. Oh, heck no. Nah. Yeah, now they're sleeping on the other end of the bed. Oh, heck no. Nah. And like many paranormal enthusiasts, he makes contact with the entity. Oh, heck no. Nah. This fool got a Ouija board. I told you, King Cole. I told you. With them Karen shirts, it be having people talking when you out in public wearing them, man. People love them shirts. Um, this man got a whole Ouija board. 
No, he didn't. You never catch me playing with one of those things ever again. And this sometimes can go south, as you will see here. Huh? Oh, hey, this no. a malevolent force that he's dealing with in his house. That thing what are you shot. Thoughts? Maybe even demonic. Or maybe something that remains there from another time. Check out his footage on his channel. I've put the link in the description. Yo, come on now. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. I'm watching closely underneath the bed, right? Before the Ouija device, whatever, this thing called moves. I'm watching closely. My assumption was that it shot into the cap, which is exactly what it did. But if you pay close enough attention, I'm looking to see if there's a string that is going to be tugged or pulled to get this thing to go underneath the bed. And the way you can really tell is if any of these other items move um, before the thing goes under the bed. So it looks like there's a, a baseball cap um, and maybe some shoes or boots that are right here. I'm looking, I didn't see anything move. This thing just shot into that baseball cap, watch. Check out this footage on his channel. I've put the link in the description. See that? Nothing moved. That's crazy. I think this man got the real ghost in his house. This was captured by Clay. Hey, Tim, I'm glad you like the beard oil. I got some in my beard right now. I've been slacking, but I started back using it. And man, whew, I got the best beard oil on the market, I swear. X Challenger. And it is a capture that apparently frightened her whole family. She reached out to the paranormal community for a possible explanation. And she states, Can anyone pick anything up from this? My yep. two nieces snapped it last night. There was no one else in the room. And nobody knows that person in the back. Oh no! Oh no! Her really sinister face can be seen, oh, and one no. of her nieces in the back appears that it has an open mouth, and people pointed out that they can see teeth and a big nose. If we think about it, what I don't see no teeth. I just see a big nose. <laughs> Shout out to Erica and Zach. Thank you guys for the don't know. Appreciate you so much. Fifty dollars strong, baby. The reason for this capture was there some? I don't see teeth. I just see a face. With a big nose. Something else with them in the room that belonged to another realm. Was it a demon, perhaps? Or just something in the background that they were not aware of? Are they twins? Although I find that a little bit unlikely. Let me hear your explanation for this. I think they were playing with a Ouija board. The following video is from the early 2000s and was sent to me by Frank. He states that the clip was captured by a man who assumed that some paranormal forces were tampering with him and his family. This night he heard inexplicable noises, saw fast shadows in the corner of his eyes, and noticed that there were a couple of inexplicable cold spots in several areas of the house. He put his camera on a tripod in the kitchen, filmed towards the living room, and came up with this. Oh, I remember this. I don't want to see this cat. Well, I don't know if it's cat, but it looked weird. Oh, I remember this too. Whew, I, I'm getting the creeps. Oh, my back, my lower back. Ah, ah I don't want to see that again. Y'all can go watch that yourself. I have a link down below. I need to put this behind my back because my back hurt. The next video was recorded by Angel. He states that there is a building in this local town that many people say is haunted. And ever so often, a report comes in from friends or family members that claim that they have seen weird things that were going on in this building. He saw strange things as well in there, but could never really capture it. The building was converted to a supermarket, by the way. This night, a friend on the passenger seat of his car recorded while they were driving through the street in question. And while passing by the store, there seemed to be something mysterious that can be seen in the window. Let's take a look.
Yo, they definitely like... Apparently the store was closed around that time, which I believe. It looks like nobody remained in there after closing hours. Definitely look like somebody's in there. Yet, some viewers believe that they see an elderly lady standing there. Could that be so? But how? Very curious. You call that a lady? They don't look like a lady to me. Basement she apparition. Nice sent me the following video, and it was apparently captured in the hallway of a factory. This building is said to be very old, and the only purpose of this camera is the video surveillance, since people tried to break into this place several times in the past. This night, the CCTV camera has captured something quite eerie in the basement of this building. After closing hours, let's take a look. Let me see. I don't like it. I don't like this. I hate these shots. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so creepy. It looked like he's looking up the stairway, the stairwell, the whole entire time. There certainly appears to be Look an at apparition it. walking around down there, seemingly peeking at the Look camera at that. and then returning towards where it oh. came from. But what was it? Is it maybe a spirit or somebody that was still at the premises? Pretty unlikely, though. What's your explanation? That's a ghost. I'm calling it. I'm calling the ghost. Ghosts are real. They real, y'all. That's creepy. I remember that clip, though. The next video was sent by Annette, and she told me that the woman featured in it was just fooling around on her rooftop that night, when her neighbor was filming this whole incident transpire. Nary Kellerman, the woman that is featured in the clip, actually didn't notice anything strange that evening. It was just a goofy skit after all. But when her neighbor sent her the recording via Snapchat, she noticed that there seemed to be an eerie black mass standing right next to Nary which was creepy enough for them to check the video. And there it was. No, manches, estás loca? Estás loca, verdad? No. I remember this. She got something standing next if to her. If you look to your left, there seems to be a figure in a dark robe standing right next to Larry. And of course, there was nobody else with them. So they seemed really surprised when they saw that creepy apparition right there. To this day, it's pretty much unclear what happened that night. She's haunted. Some people say it looks like the Grim Reaper. Would you agree? Maybe something else? following recordings stem from CCTV cameras and originally nobody saw anything strange. It was on second glance that security guards at two different locations noticed that something seemed off. And they should not be the only people that noticed that there seemed to be something going on that might not have been fully explainable. Well, let's see. Was originally discovered by a security guard that realized that something really strange was going on. Apparently, there was a child standing on the parking lot when a car arrives, and then the weirdness begins. It is suddenly gone, vanished into thin air. And it appears that we can see it here the first time. I don't know. The track, the quality of the footage is so and trash. The driver must have. Dang! What did they use the first? What cameras ever invented? <laughs> the first security cameras ever. 
Polly is so trash. Eric and Zach. Erica and Zach. Thank you guys yet again for another don't know. Seen it too. Because he couldn't believe his eyes. He actually gets out of the car and gives it a second look. He wants to know where that kid went. But he's without luck. Now, what happened here? Was it the spirit of a child that was just standing there? If it was a real person, how could he just vanish? So fascinating. Is that Nymk? Shout out to you. Thank you for a $50 dono. There's so much weird stuff going on in that video. Ah, oh, man. I mean, the quality. I really don't know what's up with that. It does kind of seem like he got out of his vehicle to inspect the area in front of his car or in front of his truck. Almost as if he did see something there. <laughs> Y'all, we got over 2,100 people in the live stream. Big baby. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Y'all, we got one more video. We got one more video. Ooh. It's my boy Chills. It's a long one, too. This last video was 13 minutes. This one's 20 minutes. This is 10 scary videos that will frighten you senseless. Y'all boys, yours ready? I'm ready. Prepare yourself. I'm confident these scary videos are about to frighten you senseless. I, I see a few clips in there we've seen before. Supposedly it's 10 videos, so we might have to skip through a couple. Number 10. Christian Garcia and a couple of his friends are riding around on a motorcycle late at night through the streets of Mexico and are enjoying their night when suddenly they come across something absolutely terrifying and startling on the road. What? Right here. Okay. I wouldn't stop. I'm gonna keep this going. This seems to just be a really sort of like isolated what up, road candy girl? in the middle of nowhere. It's clearly nighttime. And this individual is just sitting out here, staring off into the distance. I wish they would have asked if they needed help. I don't know. I'm not going to ask them nothing. Instead, just sort of take off. But I guess they do decide they should turn around, which is the right thing to do. So respect to these guys. Is it? I don't look. If that fool try to jump up at you and bite you and get your rabies, I don't know if that was the best thing to do. I might leave that fool alone. But I, you know what? Maybe I ask from a distance. Hey, fool, you okay? Hey, fool, you okay? Dang, this fool don't want to answer me. Look, I'm gonna say it one more time. Hey, fool, is you okay over there? Up, oh, they don't look. They don't want to be bothered. I'm out of here. Hola. Señora, ¿qué dice? ¿Eh? Sí. ¿Quién es? Sí. ¿Qué, yeah. ¿Qué le pasa? Why you had to turn the dang on motorcycle off? Keep the motorcycle on in case you got to get the heck up out of there. You scared me. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Está en medio de la nada, no. ¿Le pasa algo? Look, they don't want to answer. Leave them alone. If anybody, I ain't going to keep asking you. I'm going to ask you twice. Three times max. Three strikes, yeah. Yeah, uh, who speaks Spanish could please translate. Hey, I, I tell you, Chills, they asked what the full name is. Uh, it said, Como se llamas? That means, what's your name? What was said in this conversation, but I, I assume they were asking if they were all right, to which they get no response from the stranger. And I think eventually just decide, yes, to just take off. Good, good, good idea, good idea. I, I, I would have did the exact same thing. They don't want to be bothered. Even when Christian and his friends drive back to where the mysterious stranger is sitting down on the side of the road, doesn't really seem as though they are trying to talk to her too much, 
And I guess it makes sense because she is a complete stranger and you never know exactly what a stranger is capable of. Heck no, nah, you don't. Don't talk to strangers, kids. I just hope this person is okay and isn't suffering from any problems. But if they are, I hope they will be okay in due time. Number nine, Reddit user, Xbeer Seekers took this video late one night and shared it to the subreddit, Human Oh, uh, I remember this video. It's funny. It's funny how my brain operates. I remember this video. It's like a little gnome or a little, a little, a little small little creature, a human type creature that ran in this video. <laughs> Eric and Zach says, yo, we need one more video. We chilling, relaxing, drinking. Natasha, welcome to the channel. New channel member. Alice says, me and my wife love your channel. Keep up the good work. Y'all, I'm about to skip this clip right here because like I said, we've seen this one before. I'm late like always, but let's go. We in here, Oscar. No worries. You made it. I know we off schedule. It's a different day, but nonetheless, we doing this thing. Y'all, y'all can click, uh, y'all can check the link in the description box below if y'all want to see that clip. It's a fascinating one. Trat shared a video online of him wandering around through a local forest equipped with a video camera. Because the video is in Russian, I'm not entirely sure what he is saying during the- Oh heck no, nah, I've seen this one too. We've seen this one a few times. As a matter of fact, that that's fascinating. I'll tell you that right there. But uh, oh, we've seen that too. I remember that. I remember that. We've seen that a few times. I'm sorry, y'all. Look, we skipping a lot of stuff today. Oh, definitely seen this. We've seen this like ten times already. Y'all, look. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. Since I'm skipping through three or four videos right now, so <laughs> I, I had to address this. Uh, People be feeling like uh, the channel has changed, the content has changed in regards to these scary videos. People be thinking, oh, yo, you used to be uh, more afraid of these videos. Now you're calling everything cap. No, I haven't changed at all. In the beginning, when I was first doing these videos, I was deliberately going for the videos that had the most views. That means those videos were going to be the scariest with the most jump scares. And those videos are going to be the ones that were shared the most. I covered those videos. I covered all the top videos when it came to the scary content right here on YouTube. You guys loved it so much that y'all kept asking for it. So now I have to do everything else. And everything else means watching stuff that is going to be clearly fake, watching stuff that is going that we're going to be unsure if it's real or not, and watching so many of the same videos being repeated over and over and over from different creators that create these compilations. So that's just what's happening. Nothing has changed. I'm still the same person. It's just the content has changed. It's, it, we're watching everything. So everything's not gonna be real. Big brain, big brain stuff. Little creeped out, especially to- Like I said, we've seen this, so we passing it. You've probably seen this too, but I don't know. <laughs> Number five, an old hospital that was recently turned into an office building is experiencing some pretty strange activity lately. And as you will soon see for yourself on this unsettling piece of security footage. Right there it starts. Oh, there's doors opening right here. And that door just completely opens by itself. Just watch that one more time. So the door stays completely closed and then just out of nowhere starts opening. And like the title says, this building is completely empty when this happens. So unless... What up, John? Shout out to John Hudson and congratulations on your first video shoot. Noise. There's potentially a window open, like some sort of draft. I, I just can't think of any other reason why this would be happening. To provide some context on this video... I don't know. The door seemed like it was completely closed. I feel like a handle would have to be... Um, pulled or open in order for this door to open but if it's not completely closed then yeah a, a, a nice little draft could have came from the ac and blew it i don't know the owner of the office building has said that he has seen somebody standing in the corner of this room but he didn't want to say it was anything paranormal because he was a skeptic however just to make sure nothing serious was going on he called the local authorities and about a week later, after an alarm went off in the building, they came down to the office to come take a look, but they were unable to find anybody or anything. That's fascinating. An alarm goes off and 
Nobody knows. After checking the security camera for. Hey, am I frozen? Am I frozen? What the freak? Why am I frozen? Can y'all still hear me? My face is frozen on this thing. Let me go to my channel right quick. I swear. I swear if I'm frozen. How they gonna do me like that? Wait a minute. Wait a gosh picking minute. I'm frozen. Can y'all still hear me? Oh, heck no. Nah. I'm frozen. My face is frozen. I'm actually frozen. Unfreeze me. Unfreeze me right now. I don't want to be frozen no more. This sucks. This is not the face that I wanted to be frozen on. It looks like I'm taking a poo. Looks like I'm constipated. Looks like I got a boo boo. Looks like I smelt what I dealt. Unfreeze me. What's wrong with you? This is not a okay. Not at all. Why? What is happening? Why? Hey, that's a nice beard, though. It's a really nice beard. I did a good job, huh? Gave it a nice little trim and everything. Why is my face frozen? I think I think something's messing with me. It had to choose this facial expression to freeze on, huh? Why? This is not a okay. You know what? I wonder if I can fix this while in the stream. Can y'all still hear me? Why? Okay, I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna try to fix it. Stop laughing at me! I see y'all laughing at me. Stop laughing at me! This is not a okay. This is messing up my stream, man. I'm trying to get back to the video. This is the last video. We're halfway through it because I skipped 90% of it already. Darn it. I'm going to try something. Y'all, don't leave me yet. Don't leave me. Better not leave me. Let's see if I can freaking delete this. Are you sure you want to delete Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop looking at me. I don't know if they can actually see me, but I'm assuming they can because I can see me again. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I thought I was going to have to turn this thing off in order to get back to this point. Wait, it's not doing what I needed to do. There it goes. That's something. Am I back? Am I back? Y'all got to let me know if I'm back. Because I might just be talking and looking stupid to myself. Let me see what they're saying. I'm naked. Oh, snap. I got to put my clothes back on. Wait. I got clothes on. Wait. Can y'all see through my clothes? What you talking about, uh, girl? Lena, she said I look naked. I see your soul. What soul? I don't have... Oh, yes, I do. What am I saying? We can see you. Okay. We can... Whew. Thank you, Yanni. They can see me. I'm back. I'm back in black. What up, Emmanuel? Oh, one last don't know. This is the last one to get a talk. Hey, stop drinking all that liquor. We over here trying to enjoy ourselves. Wait, I guess I need some liquor too. Never mind. Look. I'm going back down. I'm gonna make that face again. Don't freeze me this time. Okay. Oh, are we good? Bitch, this is what they saw 
So is this a haunted office building or just something easily explainable like a bad door that opens on its own or something? If that's the case, why the heck are you showing me this video? Let me know what you think. I think you shouldn't show videos of just doors malfunctioning and trying to make them seem like they're ghosts. Number four over on the r slash ghost subreddit. Something looks familiar about this. A user named Cam Sunkist shares a video of a home surveillance recording on his front porch while a pizza delivery driver drops the order at the house. Don't tell me these bugs are orbs. I'm gonna smack somebody. Seems fairly normal right now. His, his, his shirt says beer o'clock. But this simple pizza delivery turns into something much more terrifying in just a matter of seconds. Something is talking to this man through a freaking ring doorbell. Very clearly, you can just hear somebody's voice. It's almost like a whisper. Come on now. If the homeowner is playing with the freaking doorbell thing and trying to scare somebody and then upload the video themselves. Oh my God. Then that's cap. Then, then, then that's cap. Like, what would I do like if I sit there with my app on my phone? Somebody come to my door and I'm whispering, hey, say, 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 trying to spook them, and then I take that and upload it to the internet and say, hey, somebody done hacked my dang on doorbell or a ghost done hacked my doorbell, and I did it myself. I'm not saying that that's what this person did, but that's my assumption. And it, it doesn't seem to catch the pizza delivery man's attention. I We reacted to this before. And, I, and the reason I said it didn't catch his attention is because it probably was done after the fact. Like, they put that voice, it was an overlay on top of the video footage. That's why the guy didn't react to it. Because he didn't hear it because it didn't happen. And it's it's just very bizarre and out of place here. I'll just play it one more time. Just listen very, very closely. <laughs> Amazingly, it doesn't even seem as if the pizza delivery driver even hears anything. So maybe this bizarre sounding voice was only audible once listening to the recording. What gray hairs you talking about, Kermit? The one in my beard? <laughs> Amanda, no, no, no more boo-boo smell. That's right, baby. And not in person. That would definitely explain why the driver has no reaction whatsoever as soon as the voice starts speaking. But I would like to imagine that if he did hear it, he would be a little bit freaked out and would probably quickly drop the order off and immediately. One commenter says it sounds like perhaps Spanish and he thinks, yeah, we got almost a thousand likes. Let's get this video up to 2000 likes, please. And thank you. The voice could be saying, do you listen to me? Of course, this is just speculation. So this man say Twitch is still frozen. Darn Take it with a grain of salt, but either way, this is one voice you certainly wouldn't want to hear on your security camera. Number three, a YouTuber named Yams is hanging out with his friend Bryson when they suddenly suspect that they saw something bizarre off in the woods located near Yams' house when they took out their phone. Nah, they were nah, Twitch is unfrozen, it looks like. They are able to take a picture of the strange phenomena in question. Don't drop the, the nitro. So I see more of the chat on YouTube. I have to connect my Twitch all the way to the Streamlabs because uh, I'm trying to show chat for both, but for some reason it's not. Um, so I'm going back and forth a little bit. But they want to see if they can find it one more time, and this time in person. So they split up and go two separate ways in order to see if they can track down whatever it is they saw, even still. Yeah, I've seen this before too. Uh, Mr. Stoner. Um, it says, don't think he's learned how to. Yeah, no, I, I do know how to. I just, um, it, it, I don't know. The stream, the, the, the thing's acting up. You saw I was frozen. <laughs> it's acting up. I, I, I know how to do it, though. I don't think they knew that this was going to happen. 
I see you're in here, Red Wolverine okay. 25. Right there. So I, was, I just want you to... Nope. Not me. Ooh, this looks promising. To Reddit user Pentax25 says that his dad captured something rather unnerving on his porch camera late at night on a breezy April evening. The OP says he has no idea what exactly was captured and is in need of second opinions. Take a look at this piece of footage and make sure your volume is up relatively high. No, you don't want to turn it down. You might scare me. What was that? That's chilling. I just wasn't expecting that scream there. That was absolutely terrifying. Really caught me off guard. Especially just that one lone scream in the middle of the night. And apparently something else is also captured here. Right there, just those very faint whispers. So th that's just absolutely bizarre, this whole video between that one scream. And I know the usual explanation when it comes to these screams is, oh, it's it's like a, a fox or some sort of animal. What really I think makes this video terrifying is that that can't be the case because there's also these very distinct whispers heard. What's fascinating is it's, the, I don't, ah. Uh. The, the the scream sound like it was off at a distance and then it sounded like a automobile drove off very rapidly immediately after that scream happened and then this whispering sounds like it's right at the camera i don't know if i want to feel like the audios of the scream and the whispering were added later or maybe the audios of the scream and the whispering are real but the scream happened at a distance and the whisper is somebody that's in the window or the door right here and they're sticking their head out and they're whispering. But obviously that scream is by far just the scariest part of this video. Let's play that back one more time. Thank you, Genesis Wall. It's absolutely terrifying. And there are the whispers. The video goes on for about another full minute after the last sound can be heard. But sadly, or luckily, depending on how you look at it, no other sounds can be heard afterward. Opinions on what was making these terrifying noises are divided, with some saying that it could- All right, there we go. Now YouTube and Twitch are linked so I can see the chats coming from both. It just be something simple, like a fox roaming around late at night through the neighborhood or some other animal. But as you can expect, others are thinking that it could be that of a skinwalker a creature in Navajo folklore that is said to be a dangerous witch that has the distinct ability to turn into, possess, or disguise themselves as an animal. Looking at this video footage, that description seems eerily accurate. I've got a challenge for- This man zoomed in on nothing. <laughs> Mal 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 Malifka says, never missed a live stream in the past six months. But this is the first time I can reply. Shout out to you. Nice. Thank you so much. And that was on Twitch. A lot of people, dolls. Are oh, the heck nah, bro. This right here got me, man. Previous inanimate objects. Hey, for real though, Red, Red Wolverine. This man do be reaching sometimes. In the world, there's just something so eerie and uncanny about them that is hard to describe. But many people share the. I, I like I, y'all know I love and slash hate dolls so much, so I definitely gonna watch this. This fear. That's why there have been an abundance of possessed doll movies, especially in the last ten years, because dolls. filmmakers know that people are terrified of dolls. Yes. If you are creeped out by dolls as well, then this video by YouTuber Spooky Links is only going to add to your fear. Right there. Did you see its hand just moved up ever so slightly? And right there again. That's just absolutely terrifying. Wait a minute. What is this? Y'all see that? What is that? It looks like an ink pen. A 
almost looks like it's it's raising its hand to where its heart would be. Nah, it looked like it's about to backhand somebody like. <laughs> And then just drops down again. Just that that. Mo oh heck, nah, Diana. Top, I need to go to Doll Island. That sounds like a place I'd never want to go. Ocean just seems so human-like as well. It's just super, super terrifying. Latoya says she has a hunted doll. Now, nah, have y'all seen Up Church's mom's doll? Man, I look. Uh uh. Um, Miss Miss Church. <laughs> I don't ever want to come to your house. I'm playing. I love you, Mama Church, but still, you gotta you, look. You don't have to put that doll outside. I ain't playing with you, woman. And I think especially because this doll is suspended in midair, just makes this video even more creepy and bizarre. The doll in this video is allegedly haunted, and the uploader tried to get that doll to move on its own. This man got a hunted doll, and he keeping it in his house. I wish a doll would. I'm torching that doll, and I'm putting it outside. As it's being torched. No, I'm not. No, there's not going to be a hundred doll in my house. You can kiss all my ass. But at the time of the recording, he didn't see that it did exactly that. I'm sure he was equal parts. That doll tried to send him a message. That doll's like, I'm a backhand pimp slap you when I see you tonight. Bow! Terrified and fascinated at the same time, upon reviewing the footage, even if the doll did something as simple as just moving its hand, it's still a sign that the doll may be possessed after all. Hopefully, he didn't keep it in his house for too long. Because we all know how that would turn out. I wish a doll would. I wish a doll would. Nope, not me. Next, on to the next one. Nope, wait, that was it. That was it. That was the last video, y'all. Look, we made it. Whew. We made it. Oh, man. You know what we need to do, y'all? Something we haven't done in quite some time. And that is, I need y'all to spam the chat right now and let the people of the world know where you guys are watching us from. I see we got some folks in here from Mexico, but I need to know. I need to know. Where are y'all watching us from? Comment. Comment in the stream right now. We got over 2,500 people in here. We're about to lose some. I already know. We're about to lose some. People don't care about this part, but I need y'all to comment. I need y'all to comment. I'm on Snapchat. No, Instagram. Letting the people know. Y'all, where y'all, oh, wait, that's not what I asked. I said to let me know where you guys are watching us from. People are saying one more. Ooh, Bali. Ooh, I want to go to Bali. New Orleans in the house. Columbia, LA, California. I see y'all up in here. We got folks from all over the place. Jersey, Mississippi, New York, Mexico, the Philippines, Arkansas, Tennessee. I see it. My eyes are fast. Boy, I see that job. San Diego, Virginia. I see more folks from Tennessee, SD all up in here, man. Michigan, Ohio. I see y'all. Texas, what's going on with you? And shout out to the folks that's dropping these fat, juicy donos. Oh, we got $100. We got, look, Monica, just every, every time, every live stream, she just drops some money, then disappears. She don't say nothing. She don't say nothing. That was Instagram, y'all. That was Instagram. Look at us. We live, baby. We got folks in here from all over the planet. Chicago, my boy. That's Zach right there. That man over there getting drunk watching. I know that's what he's doing. Yeah, hey, look, y'all y'all keep talking about one more. Y'all want one more. Y'all know what you got to do for your boy to get the one more. I need that like button to be smashed. I need that like button to be smashed. I'm about to go over here to Twitch right quick. See what my folks talking about right quick, right quick over there on Twitch. If I can pull it up, dang it. I want to go to the direct Twitch. My Twitch folks, hold on, let me stream that too. I'm streaming, um, I'm putting it in my Instagram story for everybody that's watching this on Twitch. Boom, all right, now I'm over here on Twitch. We got folks in here on Twitch from Georgia, Cali. We got the UK in here, North Carolina. What's crack lacking? We got Canada, Ohio. See, now I know. Now I know what my Twitch folks be watching. We got Singapore. We got plenty of folks up in here. Mississippi, Missouri, Arizona. Nice. Shout out to my people watching us on Twitch, England. Yes, sir. Put that in my Instagram story. You're going to see your name on there. If you go follow me on Instagram, you're going to see your name on there. But yeah, y'all y'all, y'all say y'all one more, one more. Hit that like button for your boy. Even on Twitch, hit that like button for your boy. 
I'm trying to um, better manage my time when it comes to where I'm posting um, or where I'm being active when it comes to all these social media platforms that I'm on. There's so many of them, bro. There's so many of them. I'm trying to go and respond to everybody every weekend on Patreon. It's just crazy. Yo, Twist It. Shout out to him. Another $100 dono. He said he want one more video. Heck, I might have to just give him one more video just for that big donation, man. Sheesh. But I could still use y'all favor in hitting that like button for your boy. Why are we in here? Why are we in here? We got 1,300 likes. Thank y'all so much. Give me a sweet 200 more for one more video. One more. Just 200 more. I appreciate it. Next shirt, wish a dog would. Ryan, you a fool. I don't know. I don't even know if I can put that shirt on my body because I wish a dog would. Now I'm playing. <laughs> Eric is in here from Texas. Shout out to you. Thank you for the don't know too. And thank you, Ryan, for the... Uh, hey, when I said I wish a dog would, I literally thought... I know somebody gonna say put that on the shirt. See, that's look, all my merch is because of you guys. Everything, every piece of item of merchandise that I have, with the exception of the beard oil, <laughs> is stuff that you guys told me y'all wanted. So I thank y'all so much. Y'all make my job easy. Um Yeah, I saw that you ordered on the website, lady. I'm about to get ready to shout you guys out shortly. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get another one to two hundred more likes. In the meantime, in between time, let me go ahead. Shout out my people that were on the website copping some merchandise today. Orders going out today. So we got 10. We got 10 orders on here today. We got Monica. Shout out to you. Kenneth. Kenneth B. Thank you so much. Heidi. Yet again. Hold on. Is this the same Heidi? It is. This is your fourth order. She copped. Look, she capped all. She capped all caps. She copped all caps. I can't even say that. She copped all caps. She got three caps. Nice. Um, who, how you say this name? Josette? Josetti? Nice. I like that name. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for the orders. Sheila, she done got two orders on here today. Um, Miss Jimendez, I see you. What you done got, woman? Oh, you got the blue, uh, carrot tank top. Nice. I think I'm gonna do a carrot, uh, video tomorrow. Who is this? Who is this? Patty. Shout out to Patty. Got two tank tops as well. It's tank top seasons, man. Them things are flying off the shelves. I'm running low. All the OG ones are almost gone. Michelle, Ms. Reno, shout out to you. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Appreciate the order. Joshua H. Ste oh, who was that? Oh, that's Stephanie. Shout out to Stephanie. What you doing, got stuff? Oh, you got the OG Karen pullover and the OG tank top. Nice. Joey, what's going on with you? Joey. I, Joey's the GOAT. I'm calling you Joey's Joe. Joe is the GOAT. This is Joe 25th order with your boy. 25 orders this man done cop with your boy. That is insane. That is love. Cop that big brain. Big brain energy cap. You know I got to autograph it for you. Like I do. Like I do with all the orders. But y'all, we'll go ahead and get this party started with this next video. We're just going to go ahead and just dive into it. Because I appreciate y'all so much. And I owe y'all that much. All right, um, Desiree says, check out Observe on YouTube. I think you would dig him. Okay, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to check him out. We'll probably, we got a, um, I'm a, a tip to do a members only live stream tomorrow. You know, YouTube shut down my last members only live stream. I thought I was going to be able to get away with um, doing some stuff. But um, nah, they were like, nah, you, we, we can't have that. You, you got you got to go down. So again, I'm going to tip to do another members only live stream. Manana. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And we probably gonna do something similar to tonight and Desiree. I'll probably add that to the mix. So I appreciate that. Uh, thank you to everybody that's been sending me videos for us to check out as well. Agent Zero, shout out to you. Thank you so much for the dono. Uh, Christian, welcome to the family. New channel member. Er uh, who's this? Erica and Zach. Uh, see, there go another one. There go another one. Another um another recommendation. Yeah, we'll see what's up with that for sure. But yeah, we're about to get into this next video. And last video. Yeah, this video is. Y'all ready? Nukes. Top five. 
scary ghost videos that'll make you cry for your mama. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Ah, nukes, baby. Wake the baby. Sorry about that, my finger slipped. Italian YouTubers Paolo, Debbie, and Simona from the YouTube channel PIT Paranormal Investigation Team were contacted by one of their viewers about a spooky local legend in a dark forest. Ugh. The legend says that there's a certain tree in the woods and underneath it sits an old abandoned stroller. Ugh. Then above the stroller, there's a bell attached to one of the tree's branches. Ugh. Locals believe that in the stroller rests the spirit of a baby who tragically passed away under mysterious circumstances many years ago. Furthermore, it's believed that if anyone nearby makes too much noise, the spirit of the baby wakes up and the bell in the tree starts to ring. But even more ominous, it is said that when the bell rings, an evil entity comes to protect the spirit of the infant, and this entity will attack whoever disturbed the child. The PIT Paranormal Investigation Team travel to the mysterious forest and wait until nightfall. That's very fascinating. I love that. So supposedly there's a baby in the stroller that died of mysterious whatever. I don't know. It was a mystery to, to the baby's death. But there's an entity, a separate entity that's kind of attached to this child. And if you disturb the child... This entity, this spirit will come after you. That's fascinating. I like it. I shall not go there. <laughs> XJ. A <laughs> one more shirt. You see what I'm talking about? See people asking for a one more shirt. And for a, I wish a ghost would, Rebecca. Y'all be spoiling the surprises, man. I got both of those coming. I haven't placed the order, but they're coming. One of these days. <laughs> they search through the woods and eventually find the tree and the stroller. They put an EMF detect. But real talk, y'all, look, next year, I'm not going to be doing merchandise like that. This is a whole job and some. I, I might, we might use Amazon. We might switch it up a bit so I can um, get stuff out to you guys a lot quicker. They're inside and just wait. Yeah, I play too much, man. I'm not no playing with no babies. Mia. Mamma mia, my butt. You put the thing inside the stroller, you disturbing the baby, y'all. Look, y'all crazy. And then y'all standing right there next to it. I'm going to stand about 30 feet that way. Of course it's flashing. Too tight, folks. That's an old, old school baby carriage, too. That That's fascinating. That thing is sitting in the woods. Is real nice too. Nobody was like, yo, I'm gonna take this. It's, I'm gonna use this for my child or it's vintage. I might sell it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, people probably try to take it and they got attacked by a spirit. <laughs> oh, heck nah. Nobody touched that bell. It rang by itself. Nope, not me. Nope, 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 not me. Nah, if it was the wind, baby, that thing would still be ring a Exactly. Paolo, where you going? I don't like it either. Oh shit, she said, wait, did y'all hear that? I heard, I heard a loud thump from behind me. Sound like it was in a different room. This is my home. I'm the only one here. Why am I hearing thumps in different rooms? Hello? Anybody home? Bring your ass in here. You want to play with me, folks? Okay, I guess we, I guess we in a clip. Um, uh, according to the legend, an entity will come. That's what I thought. It's my house. Si. Exacto. 
the bell rings, which according to the legend means that the baby has been disturbed and that the evil entity is coming for them. These fools out here purposely disturbing this baby. That's a shame. Both Debbie and Simone are more than a little freaked out and already feel surrounded by something that is lurking in the woods. But Paolo wants to see more. He grabs the stroller and starts to threaten the- Nah, man, that wasn't my air conditioner. I'm still hot in here. My AC, I'm hot. I, w I would be cold, but I'm hot. Entity yelling aloud that he will take the baby away. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh, he touching the stroller. He a fool. Ah! You missing to the other way. Let it go. Come se dall'altra parte ci fosse qualcun altro. Take your hand off. Sta me la come se me la stesse togliendo dalle mani. Me la sta spingendo. I hope that thing get him. I hope it get him. He deserves to be got by the entity. He a fool in the half. Mollala. Io dalla 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 termica non vedo assolutamente niente. Per dirlo. Mollala. Paolo don't be listening. You heard that mess, Paolo. Do not be listening. She's like, Paolo, I told you, Paolo. Paolo, Paolo, I told you, Paolo, I told you so, Paolo. Ha funzionato. Okay, qua. E qua, 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 e qua. Okay, okay. Paolo explains that he feels like someone is trying to push the stroller away from him. When he lets go, the stroller eerily just moves on its own. The team no longer believes that they're alone in the woods when they hear the unexplained sound of running footsteps all around them. Oh, heck no. Oh, cos'è la giù? Nah, they fools, man. I couldn't hang out with them, man. They gonna get me caught up. Visto passare qualcosa, raga l'ho filmato, sono quasi sicuro. Ho stretto la torcia. Raga è passata una persona laggiù. È passato qualcosa laggiù, non un animale. A creepy figure of what appears to be a woman can be seen quickly running through the dark woods. Could this be the evil entity that is said to come when the bell rings? Is it possible that this female spirit could be protecting the long abandoned spirit of the child in the stroller? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Yo, that fool moving mighty fast to be running through the woods at night with no flashlight. Nah, I don't trust that. That was a ghost. PIT, Paranormal Investigation Team, is now releasing their investigations in both English and Italian. I don't know if this is real, but if you're loud, the baby's gonna wake up. Oh, dang, they got translators now. They got people doing voiceovers. They got people dubbing it. <gasps> That's awesome. So you can watch this full three-part series in English or Italian. I bet they use, what's that, what's that one app called? Fiverr, they use Fiverr to find somebody to dub their videos over on their YouTube channel. And they pay them five dollars to dub it. The Nightly Visitor. Chris Coltman from the Netherlands recently reached out to me through email, explaining that his family has been experiencing some very strange activity in their house. Chris says that his five-year-old son has been having terrible trouble falling asleep ever since the little boy's grandmother passed away. Aww. The five-year-old would wake up in the middle of the night, making the typical claim of any frightened child that there was, quote, something scary in his room. Aww. The boy repeated this multiple nights until finally Chris decided to buy a motion detection camera to prove to the child once and for all there was simply nothing there. Oh, that's but good. instead, the camera captures something downright creepy. Now, obviously, because of the potato quality of the camera, <laughs> it's hard to tell exactly what is going on here. All 
all that we can make out is a strange dark shape that seems to move and disappear along the side of the boy's bed. Now, after reviewing the footage and seeing this bizarre incident, Chris decides to buy a new, higher quality camera. Nice. And sure enough, the camera captures something. Uh oh. Yo. Another unexplained dark shape seems to move right next to the boy as he sleeps. It almost looks like the translucent shape touches the boy's hand. And the child even seems to react to the touch in his sleep. Literally. Another night, and Chris is laying in bed with his son to comfort him, waiting until the boy falls asleep so that he can sneak out of the room. But then, this happens. I tried to move out the way and move myself perfectly in the way. The crap happened <laughs> up here. Hold on. God. Watch the wall at the top right. Yeah, but the way it was sitting up there, though, it wasn't, see, like, he has one of these shelves on the wall that you can, like, put books and stuff on, but it wasn't sitting on the shelf properly. It was sitting on the way that it could easily fall. See, look, watch. You see this? You see the way it's sitting up there? It's not sitting the right way. It's sitting with the back of the book against the wall. Or whatever this is. And then it knocked something else that was up there over as well. I wonder if that was placed in such a way that... Just like in a matter of... Over the matter of time, it can fall over sitting on top of a shelf suddenly get tipped over and fall hard onto the floor. Chris and his son wake up and the boy's mother quickly hurries into the room to see if the two are okay. Both Chris and his wife have no idea what just happened. So are Chris and his family haunted by an invisible entity that only his son can see? And if not, then just what is this? Shout out to you, Nicole. I'm glad you made it through that back surgery. Hope everything is going all right. Let me know what you think. You see what I'm talking about, you guys? Why would that be sitting up there that way? Of course it would fall over. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Aldo sees something. Indian YouTuber Robbie from the YouTube channel Biryani Man and his friends set out to explore an abandoned house in Madras, India. The four friends don't know much about the house other than that the building was abandoned because the property is said to be extremely haunted. Once inside, they find something very disturbing. <laughs> said what is that the other dude like it's a rope <laughs> Duh. team member Vicky is a bit upset by an old rope hanging from the ceiling inside one of the rooms but the other guys don't really seem to think much of it but then 
YouTuber Robbie sees something shocking right behind him. Hello, open this door. In, in your door, look. The door, open, the door open. Manaporo. Hello, Alcira. Hmm. Open out that. Hmm. Hello, madam. Hello, madam. Ah, ah, ah. So, our open meter at time plan number. Vicky, get the camera. Vicky, Vicky. Sorry. Hang ya. It looks like something walked behind him. Someone or something seems to walk from left to right, right behind the unsuspecting group. Yeah. When they check out the area, there's just no one there. That's fascinating because that looked like that was outside of that window. The four friends decide to take a quick break outside the house to gather their thoughts. And that's when things get truly bizarre hope you're doing all right in the hospital nightmare superman you're superman you'll make it through it what up jamie we in here baby Again, a dark figure can be seen, this time from one of the upstairs windows. The guys go back inside to check it out, and it did not go well. Malifka, shout out to you, happy belated birthday over there on Twitch. <laughs> Alexa, tell them kids I said go to bed. Now, to be clear, I am in no way saying that what the guys have captured is anything paranormal. It could simply be a squatter or a homeless person in the building. Yeah, I don't know. That movement was very strange, though. I just don't know. But what I do know is that team member Aldo seems... Yo, that man legit crying, no? Genuinely terrified of what he's seen. I'm looking like real tears? <laughs> Inside the building, he claims he saw a horrifying figure. And he even starts. Oh man, I couldn't. I couldn't bring him with me, man. I couldn't bring him with me. He gonna be crying. Hey, I swear, any of my friends that come on this ghost hunt with me, if you cry, I'm gonna laugh at you. To cry. <laughs> Out of fright, just as Aldo was explaining what he. Watch, I'm gonna be the one to end up crying too. As <laughs> witness, the team is shaken up by a loud bang, and they all run to their scooters and just get out of there. Shortly after, they stop to check on Aldo. Poor Aldo is still in tears. Man, still crying. <laughs> and they decide to just end the video and go home. Alice says, nah, them fake, that's fake, that's fake tears. So what do you think Aldo saw that terrified him this much? Is it all real? Is it all just a hoax? But if it is a hoax, Aldo either wasn't in on it, or he's one of the best actors ever. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if the acting is that great. I wouldn't say he's one of the best ever, but he, he is doing a pretty good job. He might just have like a really good cry face. And they're like, yo, let's just give this man some eye drops. Because <laughs> he got a really good cry face. Even if he's faking, it just looks really <laughs> good authentic because those are real tears and maybe he wasn't in on it maybe maybe they know him to be a crybaby like nuke said 
uh, he might not be in on it. They might know this man to be a crybaby. So they're like, yo, let's bring Aldo. Let's bring Aldo along, and we're going to scare him. We're going to set somebody up, tell them to be hiding out and stuff, and we're going to capture them on camera. He's going to see them, and he's going to be tripping because he's a big old crybaby. He cries at everything. Anyway, as always, you decide the curse. From the time it was built in the 1960s, the Okako Onsen Inn in Tajimi City, Japan, was met with terrible misfortune. Some believe that the land the inn was built on was cursed from the beginning by a dark spirit. Local legend claims that a woman passed away under horrible circumstances on the property in the mid-1600s. That's no good. And that she still haunts the property grounds. So, cut to the 1970s. And there is a severe food poisoning incident at the Okago Onsen Inn that absolutely ruins the reputation of the popular hotel. Yeah, we got 2,700 people in here right now. Welcome, everybody. Even worse, soon after this, not one, but two fires destroy large parts of the building and end several lives. The Okago Onsen Inn was closed down for good. Locals say that the devastating events left the inn's owner in complete financial ruin. Mm. In hopelessness and despair, he ended his own life by jumping from the inn's roof. Mm. Today, the inn has been abandoned for 40 years, and the building is buried in overgrown weeds and vegetation. Rumors spread that the location is cursed, and that anyone who enters the inn will suffer a horrible fate. I'm never going there. Those few who have dared to enter the inn claim that they have seen and heard the spirit of the woman who curses the hotel. Definitely never going there. They also say that they have seen the apparition of what is believed to be the inn's former owner who jumped from the roof. So, Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film have heard the terrifying ghost stories and are ready to investigate the allegedly haunted inn. Together with their anonymous cap- Oh, they, get, they got big cojones. ...man who goes by the name T, they start their investigation of the creepy building. Tomo and Hiro decide to take photos of each other inside the second floor's restroom which is said to be one of the most active paranormal spots in the entire building. Things quickly take a very eerie turn. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, it does look like his reflection is looking in a different direction. <laughs> Alexa underscore KY says, who's waiting for a grudge face to pop up? This guy, I was waiting. <laughs> See, that looks more normal. He's looking in the same direction now. Creepy. Welcome live. Um, welcome, Roberto, to your first live with your boy. Thank you, Bunk. Bunkater? Bunkater? Nothing out of the ordinary can be seen in Tomo's pictures. But when it's Hiro's turn, they discover that in one of the photos, the reflection of his face seems to be staring straight 
at the camera. Yeah. The team is a little freaked out, but they shrug it off and decide to head up to the rooftop of the abandoned inn. Creepy. The rooftop is barely recognizable as it's completely covered in dirt and weeds after being abandoned for 40 years. It is said that the owner of the inn jumped from this rooftop, taking his own life. Crazy. While exploring, cameraman T gets spooked by something. Jeez. I wouldn't go over there. Don't you go over there. He said he heard a woman's voice coming from over here. Yeah, that's a sweet sounding lady trying to tell you, hey, come jump off over here. <laughs> Cameraman T is frightened as he claims he heard the voice of a strange woman whispering in his ear and dropped his camera in fear. Later, the three team members watch the footage back that he recorded. They are shocked by what they find. <laughs> Don't go over there. Yo, he said he heard a woman laughing. For, see? Yeah, because y'all was laughing. Y'all shouldn't have been laughing earlier. Now this thing gonna laugh at you. Uh question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Thank you. For the five dollar don't know. Thank you, Brandy Martin. Did you see it? A little bit. Right after the camera falls, an upside down face can be seen staring right back at the camera. Yo, that is a big the... face, though. That's crazy. It's huge. This is the face of the owner who took his own life on that very same rooftop? Or is it the woman's voice who cameraman T heard right before he dropped his camera? Yo, this is crazy. Let me know your thoughts. Down in the comments. No, 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 what the You can what? watch this full terrifying investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omega Toki Film. Yo, that's crazy. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Nina Enton shared a creepy video of her nephew, Emmy, on her TikTok page. In the video, the boy discovers the hidden nanny cam that's carefully placed in his bedroom to keep a safe eye on him. Yeah. But what happens next is downright chilling. What? face of what appears to be an elderly woman can be seen staring at the camera. Nina claims her neck. Oh, that was creepy. It sounded like the kid said, where's mama? No. This is... The terrifying... This is not the face of a terrifying elderly woman. This looks like the face of a child that is plastered on something. You y'all remember those um those little punching things back in the day that had the sand at the bottom of them? They're like punching bags for kids. You punch them and they come back up. I used to love those. I used to buy those till I was up to the age of probably 14, and I would hit them so dang on hard that they wouldn't come back up. <laughs> but they had sand at the bottom of it. This looks like one of those, but with a child's face on it face of what appears to be an elderly woman can be seen staring at the camera. Nina claims her nephew was alone in his room at the time of this recording. Now, fake or not, when I first saw this video, it freaked me out. So either way, the video is definitely very creepy, but as for whether it's real or fake, 
as always, you decide. His real is just not what the assumption is, in my opinion. I feel like, like I said, it's a child's face, but it's plastered on something. But I can't make out what this item is. And it looks like a child's face. And, then, and when he is, it was just sitting off to the side. And then when the kid moved the camera back, is he kind of bumped it. Another video, TikTok user 17275C claims that he bought a haunted ring and that ever since he brought it home, strange things have started happening around his house. Yeah, because the ring is haunted, fool. Now you done brought the devil in your home. Y'all, we got 2,800 people in the live stream. Welcome, everybody. I heard some noise down here. Not the washing machine, but some, like, weird f***ing thumping and this f***ing thing. Yo, this freaking rocking chair moving by itself. It's rocking. I wouldn't go sit on it. You might sit on somebody. Was rocking back and forth when I came down here. Doors started shaking. Unexplained voices can be heard at night. And a rocking chair suddenly started rocking back and forth all on its own. That's my cue to get the heck up out of there. TikTok user 17275C shares his experiences on a regular basis on his TikTok page. One night, he films as he starts to feel sick from the paranormal activity around his house. Later, TikTok viewers are shocked when they see something in the video that he did not see. What? Something truly bizarre. Mm. Donde? Going to... Oh, ah, there was something super black and super skinny standing behind him. Huh, look almost alien. Going to. Y'all see it? It's right here. It looked like Gumby. It looked like Gumby. Look at the head. It looked like Gumby. Comment if you're OG and you know who Gumby is. Go. They should make a Gumby horror movie. That would be awesome. And, uh, I love Gumby, man. I wanted Gumby to be real. Uh, my car for tonight. I'm not feeling good. I'm actually starting to get... Did you see it? TikTok user 17275C is completely unaware that the dark silhouette of someone or something can be seen standing right behind him in a room. He explains in another video that he had no idea what was with him in his house and that since this incident, he has been staying with a friend too scared to return to his home. So is it real or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? It's Gumby. It's Gumby. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here, Twitter here. Hey, look at that. It's a TikTok. Eh. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you next week. News got a tickety tockety now. That's what's up. That is what's up. But we got a couple more shout outs that I got to give. And then we shall be out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with your boy tonight. I appreciate y'all so freaking much. But uh, we had three other people that done got up on the website. Internet. Shout out to you. She got on the website. I bet she copped. Yep, an A-OK -okay pullover. Nice. That's my favorite one yet. Nope, not me. Uh, T-shirt. Who is this? Cliff, shout out to you. Thank you. Those are almost sold out. Crystal, shout out to you as well. She got the Ghost of Real uh, pullover. Oh, no, no. Tank top in the gray. Nice. Yeah, those are going super, super quick. We got some other shout outs to give here. Give me just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me pull up this application here oh right here we got we got karen in the house you're the best lk how thank you so much sweetheart ashley says you've been frozen had me dying you a fool um, but we ain't frozen no more baby we ain't frozen no more tasha done sent me the wiki face shout out to you misty always up in here another one alien hunt instead heck no nah, I, I ain't hunting up for no aliens as a matter of fact, I actually would prefer that. I love aliens. <laughs> Josh, shout out to Josh. Josh McKee, another one. That's always up in here. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for the Cash App Donos. Appreciate you so much. And I wanted to see if I had... What y'all talking about? One more? That was the one more. 
You know what? Do me one. We got about 1,700 likes. If I can get between 19 and 2,000 likes, I will give y'all one more. And I mean one more. But y'all got to do that like button. A solid. And smash it. Smash that like button for your boy. And I'll do one more for y'all. Y'all spell, man. Y'all smell, man. Go ahead and hit that like button for your boy. And I appreciate y'all so much. Oh, man, this is an older one. But shout out to Brandon. Brandon said my chroma key settings were blocking out uh, some of your videos. Yeah, I caught that and I corrected it. But that's cool, bro. And Benny, shout out to Benny, too. Uh, that was an older one as well. I'm over here in uh, PayPal. Let me double, triple check. April says, you love your content. Keep up the great work. Much love from Japan. Shout out to my people in Japan. Noise. Can't wait to go out there. Hopefully, I'll run into some of you guys. Man, I be running into people that watch the channel all the time, man. I ran into somebody yesterday at the gym. Says he watches the videos. Shout out to that guy. Miss Cook said the green screen was tired of me knocking him over. You a fool for that. You is a fool, a fool for that. Yeah, we still got 2,500 people in here. We might be able to get us one more video. Wait, 2,000? Are y'all telling me we got 2,000? Hey, Mr. Ballin, live stream coming Thursday night. Um, maybe, maybe. I might go out with a pretty little young thing Thursday. We'll see. We'll see. Y'all know my luck with these women out here. But we shall see. But I do want to give y'all another Mr. Ball in the live stream. Hopefully this week. Let me go back up in here. Woo! I was not expecting that. Y'all gave your boy 2,000 likes. Let's go ahead and get this last video rocking and rolling. Y'all, this is Intense Scary Clips. going to mess you up. I don't want to get messed up, but we're going to watch this. Y'all boys, girls, ready? I'm ready. Y'all, this is Slap Town. Let's get it. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Town. Oh, snap. Today, we're looking at some scary clips that are sure to give you the chills. So, as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. A lot of people throughout the course of history have believed that their homes are haunted, but not many people have been able to capture proof of the spooky events that plague them. This is facts. Rusty Johnson of Fire Twisted Go. Thank you. Another one. Bill, North Carolina is one of a few lucky or unlucky enough to have been able to record his home's paranormal activity. After returning home one day, almost a year after moving into the apartment, Rusty got an eerie feeling in his home, as if someone were watching him. The feeling was intense and sent chills all over his body. When he entered his kitchen, he was surprised to discover quite a few things out of place. This, combined with the weird feeling that he just couldn't shake, was enough to prompt him to check the recently recorded footage from the security cameras in his home. Tell me about it. The footage gave Randy an answer, but not the one he was hoping for. Instead of discovering a logical explanation for the moved objects, Randy found even more questions. The footage shows several objects falling from the counters to the floor, despite the fact there's clearly no one in the kitchen. Hmm. Okay. That happened. Utensils. All right, come on now, come on now. The first one could have been just, you know, sometimes stuff just falls. This cup is not on the edge of the freaking, what's this thing called? Dining that table. It's not on the edge. Why is it falling? Nah, that thing was knocked over. You can't tell me that cup was not knocked over. Look at that mess. Something knocked this cup over. Watch it. Utensils and papers fall from various spots on the counters over the course of about a minute.
come on now. Because the objects fall from different spots and different directions, it seems unlikely that something innocuous, like the wind, could be responsible for the bizarre movements. In a way, did this. Come on now, look at that. Randy has no idea what to make of the footage. The terrified feeling that came up. This man got real ghosts, y'all. This man got real ghosts. I saw it right there. Look at this. Look at this. I'm looking closely. I don't see any signs of string. And this paper that's up here, perfectly flush with this counter, falls down. Come on. Watch. Footage. The terrified feeling that came over him when he entered the... I want y'all to get a better look at that. Why? Right, look Randy at that paper. has no idea what to make of the... No string. Watch. Footage. The terrified feeling that came over him when he entered the apartment that day has made him quite ill at ease. In fact, he's contemplating moving to get away from the terrifying entity that seems to have taken up residence in his once peaceful home. TikToker UFO's OVNI has uploaded a small clip of some scary activity that's caused quite a stir among the paranormal community. Let me see it! The clip shows some people visiting a local mausoleum, possibly in an attempt to contact spirits. Bad idea! At the mausoleum, we can see a small shrine behind a pane of glass. The shrine is made up of a few candles, a doll, and other objects placed on a shelf where the deceased has been interred. Mama! According to the video's caption, this spot in the mausoleum is the grave of a little girl. The group stands in front of the glass. You y'all y'all see what this fool doing down here? I don't trust it. Using what appears to be a Tibetan singing bowl or mortar and pestle to perform some kind of ritual. One member of the group moves his hands in a circular motion just above the bowl while the camera records the shrine. It's unclear what the purpose of this ritual is but it would appear the spirits have certainly taken notice. Watch what happens. Nope, can't do it, Zach. <laughs> I'm on a no drinking diet for the rest till from now till September. Nightmare. Yeah, we ending this after this video. Big baby. <laughs> yeah, we doing good, Ryan. We is doing good tonight. Thank you for the donos, y'all. I've never seen this clip before. Oh, what was that? The group is startled when the doll resting on the shelf suddenly falls to the ground. Oh, that's crazy. It doesn't merely fall. It seems to launch itself from the shelf and lands just a few feet away from the wall. Yo, that's crazy. The group quickly runs. Oh, I would have been gone. I would have been dipping out of there. That freaking doll that was on the shelf launched itself at the window. Runs away from the tomb and the possibly possessed doll. That's crazy. Unfortunately, this clip is short and we weren't able to find a longer source. Dang. The fact that the doll moved inside a sealed mausoleum has left most viewers stunned. That's what I'm saying. Could this bizarre incident have been caused by the ghost of a little girl? If so, what's she trying to communicate by tossing her toy towards the unsuspecting viewers? Yo, that actually <laughs> seems super legit. And because she's angry at being disturbed or just trying to be playful. If you look at the reflection, like who would have pulled that doll? Like this is this seems so legit because this thing is closed off, it's sealed. No one's in there. There's no string to pull that doll down like that. And this person that's doing this little thing with the bowl, look at his reflection. Look at his reflection. He's not even looking inside this mausoleum. He's looking off to the side. And when this doll thing falls down at him, that's a genuine reaction that he is having. And he jumps back because it scares him. He didn't do it. The cameraman is recording him. Without further evidence. Look, watch. See his, see his face? He's not looking in the mausoleum. Questions remain unanswered. And then right there, too, he even looked off to the right and then the, it's like he looked at his watch for a second to, to catch the time and then that's when the dog came down and said scared him that that was legit 
That was legit. Melissa, shout out to you. Thank you for the $10 dono. Big baby. I'm with you on that, um, Scorpion King. Scorpion Kid. I hate dolls too. Hold on to your hats because this TikTok video from user Danny F. Donahue might just send you running for the hills. The footage begins with a couple who seems to have been awoken by strange noises in their bedroom. Woo! Then she scared the heck out of me. Guys, she need to go back to sleep and wake up on the other side of the bed because she scared me. She scared me. Kablis, what's going on, woman? La la, Miss La la, I see you up in here. Thank you. You made it to another live stream, big baby. You made it to another live stream. Darn it, I can't click on this. The man gets up and heads towards the closet where the noises are originating. There he finds a jacket that's apparently been tossed to the floor by an unknown entity. That's messed up. The coat is lying perfectly flat on the floor a few feet away from the rod. Yeah, it makes sense. I think the ghost want to go for a walk and it was trying to pick out the garment. Oh, it's unlikely to have simply fallen. And that's a trench coat. As he investigates the closet for any sign of how the jacket ended up on the floor, he hears a strange creaking sound from behind him. He turns only to find that another door has mysteriously opened. He closes the door, then turns to close the closet that originally caused all of these problems. When he turns around to return to bed, the video takes a terrifying turn. Watch what happens. The door to the closet is once again open, but this time a terrifying face is staring out at him. The face is white with glowing eyes and a terrifying expression. It looks purely demonic. The man quickly slams the door shut and runs back towards the bed, clearly horrified by what he's just witnessed. Just as the clip ends, we can hear a deep, guttural sound that sounds vaguely like demonic laughter. Whatever terrifying entity is inhabiting this home, it seems to have nefarious intentions. This couple would be well advised to find a new place to live, far away from this terrifying presence. Exactly! You better move up out of there! Move far away! Real, real far away. What was that? Woo! Look at that. I think that's your wife's sister. Because your wife scared me when I first saw her. and She kind of looked like her. I hurt my arm. Why is my arm hurting? We back, we back. Yeah, that was Cap, but they scared the mess out of me first before they capped me like that. That was, I know that was Cap. That was clearly Cap, and he cap, I can't even, I lost my voice. That was clearly Cap. That was clearly Cap. But they got me though, they got me. It doesn't take demonic faces or spine chilling screams to make a freaky video. Sometimes, like in this clip from Redditor Confusion, something quite mundane can be just as creepy to watch. This video was recorded on a home security camera. The homeowner consulted the video after mysteriously finding a shoe in the middle of the kitchen floor. 
with no idea how it got there. After watching the video, he still doesn't know. Watch. <laughs> Whoa. The footage shows him walking across the room. When he reaches the middle of the floor, the shoe mysteriously appears just behind his feet. What the frick? There's clearly no one else in the room who could have placed it there. Yo! Often, when an object seems to appear mysteriously in a video, it's because of a glitch in the camera. However, because we see the homeowner walking across the floor without any frames being skipped, a glitch couldn't have caused the shoe to appear. Additionally, if we watch the video in slow motion, we rule out the possibility that the man accidentally kicked the shoe into frame. A close look shows that the shoe is nowhere to be seen before it mysteriously appears. The homeowner is avid that the footage is unedited, so what could possibly be happening in this strange video? Some viewers believe that some sort of glitch in the fabric of reality must have caused the shoe to mysteriously appear. So what explanations can you come up with? Let me know your theories in the comment section down below. That's crazy. Home security cameras are a great source for creepy footage. In this clip shared to Reddit by Blackie0127, something truly mysterious seems to be taking place. Well, there's a lot of rain going on. Footage was shot late at night as the clip is in night vision mode. It seems to be raining or snowing heavily. Despite the precipitation, it isn't hard to spot why the homeowners are freaked out by this footage. Watch what happens. Some just walked right across. Through the middle of the yard, we can see a single figure walk right past the camera. It disappears as suddenly as it appeared. Yo, that's crazy. It seemed like the camera quality is decent enough to be able to pick up um, if there's someone walking out there. But whatever that thing or person or whatever it was, it was somewhat transparent and it didn't last. It was, it kind of blurred in and blurred out. A few seconds later, the figure seems to walk by again, appearing and disappearing in the same spots. The figure is humanoid in shape, but walks with its shoulders rounded as if hunched over. The figure seems to be partially transparent so its features are unclear. The figure appears to be a pale grey colour, but because the footage is in night vision mode, it's impossible to know for sure. The homeowners who captured this footage have no explanation for the terrifying figure that walked through their yard like... Whatever it was, it looked like it had on a football helmet from the 1940s. One night. Viewers have suggested that it could be some sort of residual energy from someone who died in the home, doomed to retrace their steps over and over again. As always, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewer. What do you think is going on in this mysterious clip? Let me know your theories down below. When paranormal activity appears, some people are terrified. Others, like Redditor Nut and Nice One, don't mind as much if they have a little of the supernatural in their lives. This video was. <laughs> if you don't mind having a little supernatural in your life, you're probably boring. Or you're probably bored. Shish! Cody, welcome to the channel. New channel member Liz upgraded her membership. Now she's a mafia member. Thank you, sweetheart. Me in here, baby recorded on a home security camera showing the living room of a home. Two women are relaxing on the couch watching TV when suddenly something unusual happens. Take a look. It's fascinating where they have their TV mounted. Did they not notice this thing open up right in front of them? 
A cabinet door mysteriously swings open. The women clearly didn't open it and there's no one else around who could have caused it to open. It's like they didn't even notice. <laughs> Viewers of the video are less interested in the possible poltergeist than in the woman's nonchalant attitude towards a possible haunting in their home. Exactly. <laughs> and look, another one's opening. Okay, all right. Come on with it. Come on. I'm with you. She's initially a little surprised with the cabinet opening, but quickly makes her peace and lets the spirit know she's okay with their presence in the home. I'm with you, spirit. I'm with you. Are you a, are you a demon or are you a good spirit? Are you all right? Okay, cool. Hopefully the woman's welcoming attitude pays off and the poltergeist sticks to harmless pranks like opening doors. If not, the homeowner might end up regretting her choice to welcome the spirit into her home. Alright, now this seems legit. This seems very legit. Because I feel like if they were to fake this, then they would be a little bit more dramatic. You know what I'm saying? This seems legit. Her responses? Shh, I don't know, man. This is this is crazy. They wanted us to see. <laughs> you see? Okay, all right. Come on with it. Come you on. hear that? She's like, it wanted us to see. And then the other cabinet opens, and she's like, all right, all right, we're here. Come on with it. Come on with it. Well, what you got? What you got? Are you a good spirit or are you a bad spirit? I'm with you. Oh, my gosh, that is so creepy. I'm with you. And then the other one, she's like, oh, my gosh, that is so creepy. Like, this seems very genuine. Woo! Before we take a look at some eerie security footage. No, my mess way. Yeah, they're pretty calm. Toddler mama, toddler mummy. Yeah, I feel like that was, I feel like that was legit. That's right, no cap, no cap Hunts on that. Scissors is another Redditor who doesn't seem phased by paranormal activity. That's just because it seems to happen in their house all the time. In this particular instance, the Redditor captured something spooky on the backyard security camera. The footage was shot after dark in night vision mode. The backyard is surrounded by a wall and fence, so it would be difficult for anyone or anything to make their way into the space. However, that doesn't seem to be an issue for one entity, as it appears to simply walk through the wall and disappear into the darkness in the back corner of the yard. According to the uploader, the structure in the back of the yard is an old well house. The strange figure looks to almost manifest out of thin air. <sighs> nah. Several viewers have... So whatever that was, it's just standing here. It's standing there. It stands there and then it walks off. And I'm going to prove to you how, why that is or how I know that to be true. Watch. Commented that the figure seems to move in an unnatural... Bam. Way. Right there. Whatever this shed thing is back here, it has a space that's right here where it's darker. It has a space in this shed where it's darker. So this person or thing that was just standing there, when it walks off, it clears up that space so that space can be seen. But because it's a night vision camera, certain stuff picks up as certain colors that's why it was so easy for this person to just blend in right here to the point where if they don't move and they're completely still then it, it would just look like they're part of this shed but like i said this thing is imperfect you can see this darker space here you see they're just standing there you see that it's standing there and it moves my assumption is this is just a person and they're trying to pull one over on us and just walk off into the woods. They have on a hoodie, a jacket, a pair of pants in their backyard. You see that? It's filling in that space, opening up that space. I was born at night, 
but I most certainly was not born last night. Big brains. To the ground. The Redditor who captured this footage claims that numerous strange events have happened around the house. Neighbours have reported feeling uneasy walking past the house at night time. The homeowner believes that the yard might contain some sort of portal. The homeowner said that while digging in their yard one day, they came across a burnt out motorhome that had been buried in the backyard. So could these strange occurrences be explained by a portal to another dimension? Could the home be haunted by a ghost or other entity? It could be either the person that owns this home fooling around in their backyard, or it could be a robber, like you guys are saying right now in the chat. Watch the footage again and come to your own conclusions. That's what we just did. <laughs> we came to a conclusion. Shout out to Amanda. She just copped something on the website. A-OK -okay hoodie. Y'all, we did it. We made it to the end of the live stream. Thank y'all for hanging out. Woo! This is a good one tonight, y'all. This was a good one tonight. I'm glad I can make it up to y'all for missing out on yesterday's live stream. But y'all, we got a few more live streams coming this week, hopefully. We're definitely shooting for Friday's live stream. But I'm going to see if I can squeeze another one in there in the middle of the day or in the middle of the week. Um, technically, we are in the middle of the week. But anyway, I need y'all to go check out my other two channels, A Different Perspective and AOK -OK Games. They're linked on the main channel right here. I posted some content to both of those channels today. Two reactions, two reactions. But anyway... Again, thank y'all so much for hanging out. Y'all know what time it is. You like this reaction? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the originals will be down in the description box below. Give it a second. It kind of takes a while. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the ground and Twitter at Artie Kicks. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Y'all be safe. Enjoy the rest of your week. See you later. Bye.